Let's simply love of God. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a word in season with Pastor Flourish. God bless you for clicking this video. You are not yet by accident. God brought you here for a purpose. Please, people of God, if today is your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God will richly bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, another prophetic moment. Good tidings I bring your way, child of God. Yes, this word is for someone. You are in a trap. And this trap, funny enough, you put yourself in it. This is comparison trap. You are comparing with others. Yes, you are competing with others. Child of God, for you to have your own peace, for your peace to remain in you, stop comparing yourself with others, child of God. In this life, we are not in any race. Every one of us, we all have our specific race. Yes, our races are personal, child of God. Yes, run your race and allow another person to run his or her race. We are not in a competition in this life, child of God. Our destiny differs. And our timing differs. Your set time might not be the set time of your neighbor. Yes, child of God. Don't be entrapped in this trap. Yes, Free yourself. Tell yourself that you are not competing with anyone. Yes. The success of others is weighing you down. Child of God, run in your own pace. Wait for your own time. The fact that God is blessing your neighbor, someone close to you, is a proof that God is around, that God is existing. Yes, is the same God that you have. Yes, He doesn't love you less. God loves us equally. Yes, what He gives to your neighbor, He will equally give it to you if He knows that you need it. Yes. Run your race. Yes, child of God. Don't compete with anyone. Do what is best that you can do. Yes, within you. Don't struggle and try to compete with others. Yes, child of God. You will bear your own fruits in your own season. We all have our own seasons. Yes, your season will surely come. God's word says he makes all things beautiful in his time. Everything has its own time. God's word says in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, that there is time for everything. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 says, For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with others that combine themselves, that compare themselves, measuring themselves with themselves, and comparing themselves among themselves and not wise. Yes, child of God, when one keep on comparing with others, comparing with others, competing with others, as if we are in a race. That is, as if we are in a competition together. It's not wise. You run your race. Allow your neighbor to run his or her race. Yes. When you have this mindset that you have your own race, different from that of your neighbor, you will have peace. Yes. 
These things that you trouble about, that troubles you, we no longer trouble you. You will wait for your own timing. Yes. You will wait for your own right time. You will wait for your own set time. Yes, child of God. Because when you have this mindset, this mind that there is time for everything, you will not have time to envy your neighbor. Yes. Whenever good thing lands on your neighbor, you will celebrate with them, knowing fully well that your own will come because everything has a time. God always attached time to everything in our lives. Therefore, child of God, celebrate with others. Whenever they receive good things, when you celebrate good things with others, when they receive the blessing of God, God will do your own for you. Yes, child of God. I pray for your timing. For that which you are waiting for the Lord to do for you. Not to delay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, child of God. Free your heart. Yes, be free in your heart. To wait for all, your own timing. It will surely come. It will not delay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because it's for an appointed time. And that appointed time, nothing can stop it. Yes, as you have the heart to work with the Lord, with the whole of your heart. Yes, as you, as you entertain a good act to celebrate with others, yours will equally manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, let go of this attitude as if you are in a competition. This attitude of striving with others. No. Free yourself. Yes. Maintain your own peace. Protect your peace. By not entrapping yourself in this comparison trap, child of God. God bless you, beloved of God. Because at times, the people that we are envious of comparing ourselves with. They might be facing challenges. They might be fighting battles that you don't know of. Hey, child of God, what you have now, bless the Lord for it. Yes. For a man's life, according to God's word, does not consist in the abundance of things that he possesses. Yes, child of God. Yes, be content with what you have. God's word say, contentment with godliness is a great gain. Yes, as far as you are walking with the Lord, yes, in holiness, in righteousness, be contented. This is a great gain, child of God. Everything in the word of God is full of blessings, definitely. This blessing will locate you. Yes. Every blessing that God has released for you will not miss your location. Yes. He knows your address and it will land there at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God bless you, beloved of God. May the peace that only Jesus gives rule and reign in your life. In Jesus' name, amen.